Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll tell you a science fiction movie called Ender's Game. Spoiler ahead. 50 years ago, an alien army called Formic attacked the Earth, makes tens of millions of lives died, but with the sacrifice of Commander Rackham who crashed his plane into the alien mothership, total annihilation was avoided. After that, the international fleet decides to gather the smartest children in the world to be trained as the best war strategists, they also implanted chipsets in the students' necks to monitor their progress. Now we see Ender, the best student in that program who easily defeated one of the students in the war game. Colonel Graf thinks Ender is the right leader for them in the future, but Major Anderson has another perspective, she thinks Ender is someone who only wants to win for himself. One day, Ender was called to the infirmary to remove the chipset in his neck, which means he's kicked out of the program. After the process was completed, Ender was surrounded by the other students and dragged into a room to beat him up. Before they start to hit, Ender takes the statue to beat up the leader of the group and threatens the others. Elsewhere, Graf who was monitoring Ender was pleased with his reaction to protect himself. Ender comes home and tells what happened to his sister, Valentine, feeling bad about the violence he committed to other students. Valentine tries to calm him down, but his brother, Peter, interrupted them, takes Ender to a fight where Ender just gives in and doesn't react. Afterwards during dinner, Ender's parents advised him not to be embarrassed for being a failure. But suddenly, Graf and Anderson come to Ender's house. After asking a few questions, they confirmed Ender passed the test. They also explains the reason why Ender's monitor was removed because the final step evaluation is to see what happens to the students after the monitor is removed, and they think what Ender did was purely tactics and strategy to stop future attacks. Graf also wants Ender to come with him because they need smart minds like his to fight Formix, and if he accepts, he will be taken to the battle school without monitors and all privacy restored. Ender accepts it and is taken to the ship that will take him and the other graduates to the battle school. On the ship, Ender gets acquainted with Bean and Eli who throw up due to zero gravity. Then Graf came and tells everyone that Ender is the best student in the class. After arriving, Ender tells Graf that his statement made everyone hate him, but Graf explains that they want Ender to be the Julius Caesar to win the war. Afterward, he goes to his room where the other students were teasing him as the smartest one. But then, Sergeant Dapp came, who tells everyone all the rules in the bunker and asks them to work as a team. Later during the class, Graf reminds everyone about the great responsibility that was on them, and shows Rackham's sacrifice in the first Formic attack, he wants Rackham to be an inspiration for all graduates to defeat the Formic again. The next morning, the team was taken to a battle room with zero gravity, Graf tells Ender to try it first, followed by the others who were like playing in the park, then Bean comes to Ender and try out their weapons, it turns out that the weapon can freeze the body parts that hit it. After a few minutes, Graf gathered them back together and explains that they will be training for a match with a team from another school, then Sergeant Dapp explains the battle rules, one point for limb hit and six points for torso hit, but if one of the cadets from both teams can pass through the enemy gate unharmed, then they will win, regardless of the points they have scored. Now, it's been three months since Ender studied at the battle school and writes an email to Valentine, but he never gets a reply. They always training every day and also studying about formic flight patterns and hand-in-hand -hand combat, which makes them watchful and aggressive. Ender thinks that they actually don't understand their enemy at all, because no one can explain how Rackham defeated the entire Formic fleet. Graf wants Ender to be lead, but Ender doesn't know how to be a leader because everyone there is so different, and even when eating he's always alone. One day, Graf informed them that he was glad because most of their team was performing well as the competition to enter the commander's school was tough, some high ranks failing to meet the standard are sent home and maybe someone in this class will be get a promotion. Before he left, Ender asks if their email was being blocked, and Graf confirmed that all of their communications were temporarily held back, because people on Earth didn't understand what they were doing there, and he didn't want the students to be distracted by their replies. Because of his sassy attitude, Dap makes Ender to push up, and reminds him to do not speak unless spoken to. After that moment, the other students look at him with respect. The next morning, a teacher announced that there were only three people who passed the deep space navigation test, a lie, Bean, and Ender, which caused Bernard to say they were cheating. Then the teacher called Eli to explain how to navigate in the deep space, where Bernard sent insulting words about Eli to other students, but Ender replies by insulting Bernard which upsets him. It also makes Bernard shunned by the others, and the students start to get closer to Ender. At night, while Ender looks at the anatomy of the formic body, he finds a mind control game and tries it out. In the game, he plays as a mouse who has to choose one of the two available goblets, but after a few tries it, he never win the game. And in the next game, he chose to attack the giant that gave him the choice to win. 
Anderson and Graf also watched the game to see how Ender dealt with frustration, and makes Anderson surprised with his reaction because she's never seen anyone do that, but for Graf, he's the perfect leader they need. It makes Ender being promoted to the Salamander army who is undefeated in battle. When Ender arrives at his new barracks, he meets Petra, the only girl in the squad, and Bonzo, their leader, who was angry because the replacements he wanted did not match his expectations. Then he reminds Ender not to do anything during the match because he thinks Ender only going to make things difficult for them. After that, Petra comes up to Ender and invites him to practice together. Then they move to the battle room where Petra shows her skill in shooting, she also teaches Ender how to use weapons at the right time. But when they are returned to the room, Bonzo who doesn't like Ender practicing with Petra tells him not to practice at all. Ender tells Bonzo to let him practice so that people will know his skills and it will be easier for Bonzo to transfer him. One day, the Salamanders play a match where Ender is asked to stay behind. But when the Salamander is about to lose, Ender comes to help Petra and perform a plans to pretend to be frozen, shot all the enemies and lead the Salamander to the victory. But Bonzo didn't like that victory and came across Ender during hand-in-hand -hand combat training with Petra, punching him in the stomach and reminding him to follow what he says. At night, Ender resumes the previous rat game where he meets Valentine who takes him to the castle ruins and the rat changes into his character, and then, the carpet turns into a snake and attacks him. But after defeating the snake, he was surprised because Valentine turns into his brother. It makes Colonel Graf get mad at Anderson and wants her to change the game's story, but she can't change it because the game is the connection between the user and the computer, and the story reflects the reality of the user's emotions. Graf then asks Anderson to delete the game and ends the call. The next day, Graf calls Ender into his office and asks him if he wants to command his own army, the Dragon Army, an army that was dismissed four years ago for never winning a battle, and he will be given freaks and some weirdos who might be intelligent like him. Ender accepts it, and Sergeant Dapp shows him his new room and finally looks at him with respect. Ender then meets with his team and give a short speech, he wants his team to respect each other and say any idea if they have a better one. And then, Ender pushes his team to work harder and makes them reach the third place. But Graf was being pressured to make a decision to choose which team will be the centerpiece of the fleet, but the dragon team that he wants hasn't reached first place yet, so he set up a match between dragon and two teams at once, leopard and salamander. Then Ender woke up his army to prepare for the match where one of his army got his leg injured. Thankfully, Graf sends Petra as a replacement on his team. Ender sends Petra with a boy as a shield to eliminate the enemies around the gate with her shooting skills, then he sends a bean with a rope tied to his body to see the enemy's position in the room. With information from Bean, Ender makes a plan, where all teams form a ball formation with a layered shield and move straight towards the enemy's gate, they win the match and become the unbeaten ones. But Bonzo was upset with it, he comes to Ender in the shower room and challenges him to a fight. Ender refuses, but Bonzo insists, which makes Ender forced to defend himself and accidentally push Bonzo which causes his head to hit the floor. An unconscious Bonzo is taken to the medical room for surgery, where Petra and Anderson tries to calm him down. But then, Graf came and asks them to leave Ender with him. He tells Ender that Bonzo won't die and will be returned to Earth for better treatment, but Ender wants to come along to make sure and see his sister, and if not allowed he will quit. After that, Graf returns to his office and calls Anderson because she wants to quit the program due it disturbs his morality in using children as a soldiers, but Graf reminds her that it must be done to protect human race. One day on Earth, Graf comes to Ender's house to take Valentine to go meet with Ender. When they arrive, Ender immediately takes Valentine to the boat that goes to the center of the lake, he tells Valentine about how sad he is to see Bonzo dying, it was also hard for him because by understanding his enemy, he must to love them, and Valentine reminds him that he did it to protect himself and there's nothing wrong with that. She also tells Ender to go back to the academy, because she thinks Ender is just afraid to lose, and if he stays on earth and doesn't try, everything will be lost. Ender accepts it, but Graf can't block his email anymore. But they didn't go back to the battle school, Ender was taken to the commander's base near the Formix home planet to start the final training, and if successful, he will lead the entire invasion fleet. This base is on the planet where the Formix used to come from when they attacked Earth until the humans forced them back to their home planet and contained them there. Ender doesn't understand, if it's already containing the Formix why keep attacking them, and Graf explains that the purpose of this war is to prevent future wars. After that, Dap shows his room and a backup oxygen tank in case he's short of air. The next day, Ender was surprised by a man with a tattoo on his face, attacks him and reminds him not to trust anyone, not even his teacher. That man is Rackham, who is still alive, so Ender asks what happens after he destroys the enemy carrier, because every video he sees always cuts off the part after that. 
Then Rackham takes him to see the full video record of the incident and find out that after the main carrier is destroyed, the other Formic ships stop attacking and start falling from the sky. Then Rackham explains that Formic is the same as ants, which have a queen to command them, and if the queen dies the others also die because they can't think for themselves. And the reason why the video was cut because they are not sure that they have destroyed the queen's ship yet. After that, they went to the attack simulation room where the team was waiting. The team included Eli, Bernard, Petra, Dink, and Bean as the leader of the assault group who will command a squadron of drones. Then Rackham shows the condition of the Formix home planet where the military power is growing quickly. This simulator uses real photos at the best approximation to real battles and Ender will command the entire fleet. The most important thing in this mission is to protect MD-500, the molecular separation weapon, which Petra has been trained to fire it. In the first simulation Ender was able to guide his team to a complete victory, as well as the next simulation. But the simulations are getting more and more complex and real, and the pressure to win day after day is intense. And after a few months had passed, Ender had lost his first battle, making Rackham yell at him. Ender explains that he can't win if he doesn't take risks, but Rackham asks Ender to focus on the big picture and let the other members to improvise. Graf tries to calm the atmosphere, he tells Ender that Rackham is training him hard because he has trained many other teams before and all of them failed, and Ender is the last one because there is no more time to train new candidates. He also tells him that tomorrow is the final simulation, and if he wins, he will become the commander of the entire invasion fleet. The next day, Ender prepared with his team for the final simulation, which is watched by Graf, Rackham, and other officials. This simulation will be set up in the near Formicone planet, where an enemy fleet is already waiting for them. Then Ender orders all battle groups to deploy their drones to protect the aircraft carrier and sends an ally squadron, so Petra have a time to fire MD-500 at the enemy fleet, but it makes the entire Formic fleet on the planet comes to attack them. Since Petra fires the MD-500, she needs time to recharge it, so Ender commands all the drones to protect the MD-500 by making himself a layered shield for it, leave the rest of the fleet and fly through the atmosphere of the enemy planet. When the MD-500 is finished charging, Ender commands Petra to fires it, which destroys the entire Formic home planet and wins the battle. The team celebrates their victory, but it's cut short when they see the Formic home planet burned to the ground. Graf and Rackham approach Ender to congratulate him and thank him for saving humanity. It turns out that what Ender did wasn't a simulation, it was a real battle. Ender immediately feels terrible when he finds out that he has killed the entire Formic species and also let his army die as a shield to destroy the planet. Since Ender can't control himself, the doctor put him to sleep and takes him to his room to get rest, where Petra watched over him. In his dream, he saw a winged creature in the game protecting a sphere inside the building. Ender realizes that it is the queen and knows what she wants, then he wakes up and runs out to leave the base, it makes Petra follow him with an oxygen tank so he can breathe outside, but Ender asks her to come back because he has to do this as an apology for destroying their planet. Then he walks past the collapsed building, find his way to the sphere and meet with the queen, which turns out to be an egg in there. Knowing the queen is dying, Ender promises to find a new home for the egg. At the end of the movie, Ender is promoted to Admiral and gets his own ship, traveling the universe to fulfill his promise.